So this is a tutorial for how to download and how to use Adobe Acrobat Reader DC. It's a very easy application for annotating all your PDFs. How to download it, I'm going to show you that first. Open any web browser like Chrome or Edge. Any web browser would work. Then you just need to type out download Adobe Reader. Click on this link, this fourth link, right? One, two, three, four. Yeah, this fourth link for download Adobe Reader DC, free and latest version. So you're gonna get this window. You're gonna click on free download and your download will start and it will download automatically and the application will open on your window. I have downloaded it already, so I'm going to open it on my PC. Now, this is the welcome PDF provided by the application itself. So on this, I'm going to demonstrate on how to annotate it and how to use it. So this is a toolbar on top of the document, which you can always use and which is always going to be here. You cannot remove it or you cannot move it around. It's always going to be here. So this toolbar is for the basic tools of this document. Now, these arrows are used for changing the page numbers, moving to the next page, and again, going back to the first one. Then, if your document is quite a large one, you can always enter the page number which you want to move to. And again, you can go back. This is the arrow tool. This is the pan around the document tool, the hand tool, which I'm using right now. You can scroll through the document like that. This plus and minus tool is for zooming in and zooming out your document. Now, if you do not want this disturbing toolbar right over here, you just need to click this arrow and it will push the toolbar to the side of your document. Now, this is if you want to move your page control, such as zoom in, out, and, you know, such as page down, page up, of all your page controls out of this toolbar, this particular toolbar, and you just want these then you click this icon and your page controls are going to come here. But if you want them back in your toolbar, just click this icon right, right over here again. Now, if you want to add any comment to your document, just click this add sticky note. The shortcut for key for the same is control plus six, but you can click here and anywhere in your document, you can add your sticky note or comment. So whenever you come back to your document, you have this sticky note right over here to remember something. You click it and you get your posted comment. You can always delete the sticky note with the help of your keyboard. This is a highlighting, highlighting text thingy. You just need to click it, select the text you want to highlight, and it will highlight it automatically. The default color for the highlighter is yellow, but you can change it. You can always change it. I'll show you how. You need to click this arrow to expand this toolbar. You type highlight here. Type on the highlight comment. All right. I'm just going to do that again. I'm sorry. So you get this little circle here of change color. And you can always change the color of your highlighter. When you close this toolbar, whenever you're going to click on your highlighter, the default color which you changed is going to occur. Now, if you want to delete your highlighting text or you want to unhighlight the text, you just click on the highlighted text and click on this delete button. It will delete your highlighted text automatically. Now, if you want to add a comment to just this particular highlighted text, click on this highlighted text right over here and this comment, this little comment icon, click here and post the comment which you want. So this is really helpful for the difficult words, for writing down the meaning of those difficult words in those difficult literature poems or stories. Like you have some words which have a difficult meaning, some difficult words, and you highlight that already. Now when you're teaching that stuff to the students, that highlighted text, the highlighted word appears, you click on that and the meaning of the word appears here. So it's pretty easy and pretty cool, right? So you can delete it. Now, this is the pen tool. This pen tool consists of AB, that is adding text to your document. With the help of this pen tool, you can add your text to any place of your document. Okay, click outside. Without any text box, your text appears here. 
You can always change the color through which you want to write, okay? Then uh, these are some simple and basic icons which the application has provided because these tick marks and cross for MCQs, they are very commonly used. Line and period and etc. Now this is the signature document, signature thingy. This is really good for using and it's a very useful app or tool i must say so here you can add your signature you can type your signature you can draw your signature you can add any particular image to your signature by selecting any image from your computer now i'm going to draw it now i'm going to type it like you can draw it like right over here like this any which ways you want i'm going to type it out you can change the style of your typing and if you click on apply your signature is going to be here at any part of the document you can apply your signature and now once you apply your signature and then you save the document no one can make changes or you know no one can edit the pdf file any longer than that so this is really useful for the teachers when you check the when you check the question papers of your students and you add your signature at the end and then you save it so you will or no one else will no longer be able to change anything in the document or will no, no, no longer be able to edit the document it's saved permanently you can delete it if you do not want that you can even add the initials of your name like N and D. you can remove the signature and add the signature of anyone else now I'm going to close this pen tool. Now, if you want the free handwriting tool, you just need to search in this particular toolbar. Draw. Now you have several drawing tools like line, arrow, rectangle, oval, etc. All the drawing tools are right over here. But here you are not going to get what you want. You are not going to get the pen here. The pen is going to come with this draw comment. You want to draw a comment, you want to write something, and you need to click on draw comment. You can always change the color. I've changed it to red for checking. You need red always. You can change the thickness, and then you can always use it. Any which ways you want, okay? Now, this is the eraser tool. We have the eraser tool here. can always erase the document. You can lighten it up. Now, this is the box tool. Now, if you want your text along with a text box, a bold text along with a red text box, then you can use this one. All right. Now, this is a common toolbar, which you already know. You already know these functions. Now, finally, if you want to add marks to the document, like you've checked the paper completely and you want to add your marks, you go to the drawing, draw common tool, you have the pen and you can easily like mark them or something. And if you do not have the touchpad or you do not want to write it out and you just want to type it out any which ways, then there's another way. You close the toolbar you have you write draw here you have your drawing tools you just take an oval and you draw it here you remove this toolbar for a clear view then as i told you you always have this pen tool this text pen tool yeah this one you click on it you have this line you can put this line over here yes over here and you can always increase the size of it like this and you can always change the color of it like this and then you have this text tool which you can put here you can write 10 here and with the same tool you can write 10 here and here you go you've beautifully text in a texted way you've added the marks to the document and congratulations the students scored 10 on 10. <laughs> yeah so with this the uh, tutorial for adobe acrobat reader dc is complete
these are all the tools and if you want to find any other tool you can easily go on this find tools option and you can just search anything if you're not able to get the tool for it you can add the text comment you can always add it you can type it all right it's really easy you can close it and you can always delete anything you've written by clicking on the document and clicking on delete now i am going to close it as the tutorial is complete i hope it was a good one